Hi everyone, hope you're well. Another video on the Making a Paraglider series. Uh, on the last couple ones, we started looking at some how different curves in panels gives us different shapes. Then we went from paper onto cloth to make the parachute. And now we're starting to get really complex in terms of designing the shapes from scratch with a pen and paper. So I thought we'd go into CAD, computer aided design. That's why I have my gaming set up because I want to show you something on the screen. I've downloaded a program called Single Skin. Uh, version is 0 0.3, so uh, it uh, is probably a work in progress. And on the About section, uh, it doesn't really say who built it, uh, but it has a link to the uh, to where you can find and download it if any of you want to. Uh, to play with it and is as the name says just for single skin it doesn't do double skin uh, so i thought i'd go through the process of how far i got with it so far and um, maybe we can design a little paraglider so i'm going to start pretty small because i want to be able to maybe build it on paper so i'm going to go as small as it will let me which i think is 0 0.1 meter squared uh, also it's interesting that uh, the the way it gives you the the fact is it's kind of like from most important to least important design parameters uh, so let's go for a little bit more slender so a six aspect ratio and to make it buildable let's call it 11 cells because i want it to have a middle cell um so an odd number uh, glide ratio we don't need to move that angle of attack wingtip twist proportional to arc um that's the characteristics of the wing because it can design paragliders and kites for kite surfing if you select kite you can uh, choose the line lengths um, and also it does the um nerve viewers or the, the 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 walls in between cells if it was a double skin but this is where you would attach the lines i'm not going to bother with that for now because I just will grab the seam allowance and kind of glue it together on panel. So I'm not going to have actually have the kind of that center panel. Uh, so I don't need any of that. Bridles. This is uh, all to do with the lines, you know, upper cascade, mid cascade. Again, I'm not going to really put uh, lines on it at this moment. I'm just interested in building the shape in 3D and how that relates to the panels. So... It's basically this area here that we're interested in. So if we go on to airfoil, uh, I'm going to look at how I can change this shape to something that doesn't have this under undercut there, because I think that will be a little bit hard to do in paper if it goes so far around. Uh, wing shape, I found that this to be quite interesting because we can uh, move it in or out. We can have it like a completely different shapes by G just dragging these points around. Uh, and also the shape of it looking front on and top on the, I think this is called a plan form. Uh, and if we go to the 3D view, that's actually quite interesting. So uh, I think there's some mistakes in the calculations because it's such a small wing. But all, all I'm interested in is this uh, this 3D shape and how it relates then to the panels. So if we look at it from afar like this, we can go back to the wing shape, make it flatter, something like that. We can go back to the 3D view and we can see that it's a much flatter glider now. But I think I'm going to, I want to exaggerate that a little bit so that we can see a proper arc. And I'm going to try to go to the typical paraglider shape, which looks a little bit like this, maybe. Maybe not so. And I kind of want a flat kind of want a, a straight edge on the back so I might try to 
do this just to see what happens. Mm, let's give a little bit of curve there. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit like this. Okay, back to the 3D view, calculating. Still feels like it should arc more. There you go. I'm happy with that. Uh, it gives you all of the uh, around the side here all of the um, all of the information. So uh, zero point one meters squared aspect ratio is six. The wingspan is seventy centimeters, seventy seven. So that will be about this big. It's actually quite big. Um, number of cells eleven. Root chord blah blah. blah. Okay, we don't care about any of that, and gives us all kinds of lengths about the lines, which again we're not interested in. But if we go on to print, this is quite interesting. So these are the the different cells uh, for the panels. Uh, we can have offset offsets in X and Y, sewing offset, leading edge, trailing edge. Let's try three. Yeah, so that is the leading edge. We actually want very little on that. So let's put point 0.1. Want point 0.1 as well on the trailing edge because it's not going to go onto anything because it's just paper. Uh, so we don't need an offset there. We do need that offset on the side, but we need to work out how much that would be. So what I need to do now is to make sure that I have enough space for me to cut my little triangle so that I can sew them to each other. And I need to print them. Also, it also gives you the plans for the nervures or the you know the cell baffles. Uh, but we're not going to bother with those. Everything has to be to scale. I might print one per. Um, I'll check, make sure it fits in A4 sheets of paper. Um, pick some pretty color paper. <laughs> print it, cut it, put it all together. It, at the moment, it's only showing us one side because the other side will be a mirror image. So at the moment, we have from the center cell one, two, three, four, five, and six, which is in the wing tip, and we'll have the same on the other side, two, four, five, six, but it's mirrored. So it's only giving us half of what we need. So some of them most of them will have to print twice. So that's it for this one. I'll print and put the little paraglider together on the next video. Uh, I'm really excited that there's a, actually a software that can be used to put 3D ideas into 2D panels. Um, if you know of any other softwares like this that we can have a go at and, and use for this series, do let me know. I know there's Glider Plan and other ones like that. Uh, which I haven't researched a ton, but I'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, let me know in the comments where you'd like the series to go or what to try next. Uh, it's all open, learn by doing, on the fly sort of thing. Um, so yeah, as always, I want to say a really big thank you to all these people on Patreon for supporting these videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.